I think I can do this. I start with his body, which is kind of like a peanut shape. A little peanut. And then I gotta make sure. Oh, oh dear. I already think. And you know, I'm also visualizing it in my brain as I go on. Then I draw one ear on the left here, and then I'll go back over here to draw the other ear, which is like a circle. And now I'm going to add in the eyes, which are just circles. He has another circle right next to it because he has two eyes. Um, and he's got a little nose, and he's got a line for his mouth. He's got the little hands. Uh-oh. There we go. And he's got a little round tail. And his feet, I love drawing his feet because they're like little pegs. He's got little peg feet. And now the final detail. Hammy has a pattern. He's got one and one down there. And one over here. Now, I think this is beautiful and ready to go into the museum. Mmm. Ah! It's actually not that bad. It's Hamster Source Rex. And now let's try and draw a Squirrel Kong. Where do we start? I'm gonna start first with the eyes. Like Hammy, Squirrel Kong has two round eyeballs with dots in them. And I think, I'm forgetting, I think Squirrel Kong has a tr little triangle nose. Squirrel Kong is like a giant, ferocious squirrel, so doesn't look very friendly. So he's got ah, sharp teeth. Ah. Let's draw the outside shape of Squirrel Kong's head. Um, also, sometimes, like, because Squirrel Kong is kind of like the villain. It helps to get in character, so you gotta rah, feel that it's a big, mean, vicious squirrel. All right, now I'm gonna try to do, I think give one of a pause with a sharp rah, rah, rah. I can already tell this is gonna be so beautiful. Just like all my drawings, it's gonna be perfect. It's really not that hard drawing with a blindfold when you're a professional. Mm, it's got some dots to show the fur. Perfection. All right, let's see what happens. Ah! <laughs> Looks pretty good. It's Squirrel Kong!